All right, everybody, welcome back to another Paradise Gaming YouTube video. And today I got a quick video of some CGC submission returns. I think I did I, I did do a video, you know, pre-screening, I guess you could say, all the cards I was going to submit. So I think it was around 80 cards, give or take. But um, I got the partial return, and it's um, the Express cards that I sent, the more high-value high, v high value cards. So I just wanted to go over them real quick, see the grades, and uh, see what y'all think about them. And, uh, yeah, just continue uh, seeing uh, how CGC does grading. So, I uh, have one. Um, plus, I'll talk about some other things that happened that I thought were a little weird. But, uh, let me grab a card here. So, this is this will just be easier than the way I was doing it last video. Um, so, I actually did submit three MetaZoo cards. And it was a first edition Mothman, uh, the NYC King. And then a, um, what was the third one? Was it three or was it two? Crap, I'm gonna burn fart, sorry. Well, I don't, I think it was two. It was two, that's right. It was three cards in total. It was the, uh, because I did a submission before that where it was three cards, and uh, I finally got those back. And I uh, wasn't happy with how it turned out because I didn't do it right, so, um, that's why I didn't make a video on those three cards. I was waiting for them to, you know, once again return those after they resubmitted them. But um, I ended up taking. They still hadn't resubmitted them. It's it's just a complete shit show. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not making much sense. But um, the three cards: the Shining Charizard, the Mothman, and the NYC King. I sent those three express, and it took literally over a month for me to get those back. I mean, it was just it was a mishap, I guess. With the shipping initially to CGC, and then you had the hurricane that came through. Um, so obviously CGC is in Tampa, I believe, or outside Tampa. So I think Sarasota, maybe. And uh, so you know they had to close shop for a good little while, probably about two or three weeks, maybe take give or take it, maybe. But um, that was another reason why it took so long to get those back. But um, yeah, uh, so we'll just go over the Mothman real quick, and then I'll talk about the uh, NYC King. So just do this; it'll be easier. All right, so here's the back of the Mothman. Obviously, y'all won't be able to tell everything on the card, all the detail. I'm just giving you a good, quick overview. Look at it real quick. And then here's the front. So it's a pretty clean card overall. Centering was decent. I think it's a little bottom heavy, but it was pretty decent. This is my initial reactions when I before I submitted it. Um, surface looked pretty fine. Uh, edges are fine, so here we go. Here's the gray we got. Hoping for at least a 9.5. Be awesome if it's a 10. It's a 9.5. All right, interesting. So what do we get knocked for? Surface and centering. So yeah, like I said, I believe that it was a little top heavy or bottom heavy on the, this card. So I can see the centering. Surface, that's, that's just so weird. Surface is give or take. You can't really tell because I, I try cleaning the cards and the person, a middleman I submit them through, they clean them as well. So, it's just one of those things. I've noticed that surface is what gets a lot of cards. So here we have a uh, first edition Mothman from uh, MetaZoo. Alright, so I decided to just keep that one and not resubmit it. So the reason why I was unhappy was because it has subgrades. And at this, the three cards came back with subgrades and I didn't want subgrades. I don't, there's no need for subgrades in my opinion. I can tell what the issue was going to be with this card. I knew centering it was going to get knocked a little bit. Surface is a wild card. You know, you never know what that might nick. But I knew the edges and the corners were going to be pristine, like perfect. So I knew this was either going to get a 9.5 or a 10. I just didn't know how that centering was going to affect it. And as you can see, it got a 9.5 because of it. Surface, I mean, I looked over it really hard, really good. I didn't see anything. So it must be something that they see with a, under a microscope or black light maybe. All right, so the NYC King. Interesting with it was, I asked them. I actually asked them to crack it and resubmit it. And the reason why is because it had a 10 edges, 10 corners, 9.5 centering, but then a 6.5 on the surface, which made absolutely no sense whatsoever. It literally came in the mail in a you know a sleeve from the distributor from Metazoo. Uh, you know the, the plastic little sleeve like kind of like this 
So I didn't even handle the card at all much. I barely opened it, put it in a sleeve immediately, and then put it away in a book. So, or a binder. So I didn't even really handle it. And I mean, it got 10, 10, 9.5, and then a 6.5 on the surface. That just makes no sense at all. And so I looked over it really well before I submitted it, and I didn't see any damage on it. I didn't see any dirt or grime or even fingerprints. I tried to hold the card like this so I didn't leave fingerprints. Or I would do here, like very much on the edge, and I'd wash my hands before I hand all my cards as well. Um, so that was really wild, like just out of left field. And my, my wife actually made a joke and was like, oh, it's, it probably meant 9.5, and then put a 6, 6.5. So, uh, yeah, I told them, I was like, I, do y'all see anything? Because these people, my middleman, they're at my little card shop, they've submitted thousands and thousands of cards, just, you know, multiple companies, not just CGC or PSA. And um, the guy who actually does clean them and look at them, he didn't even really see anything major. I mean, there was like maybe one little spot where the a black ink, I guess, had run into the red, maybe. Um, but that's not going to knock it down to 6.5, I don't think. I've never seen anything like that. So that was weird. So I asked them if they could just crack it, clean it up if, it, if there is anything they can see, and resubmit it. Because I really don't think that it was a 6.5 on the surface. I think it's something was wonky there because that didn't that just didn't make no sense i didn't see anything they didn't see anything um so I, I don't understand what that could have been so that's what i'm gonna do with that and then the charizard the shining charizard it actually got a nine it got it didn't get a 9.5 like i was hoping it got a nine um at this point i'm almost certain any you know vintage card is it's gonna be astronomical for it to get a 10 so i was just shooting for a 9.5 and uh, they put subgrades on it as well. And uh, from what I remember, it was um, edges. The centering, the centering was a 10 on the Charizard. The surface was a 9.5. The corners were 9.5, and I think the edges were either 9.5 or 9, somewhere around there. So over or nine, there's a nine. So it, the, I may be off on that, but I'm pretty sure it was around there. But anyways, it, it got nine. Is what the grade was. So. Either way, it was a 9, it nothing crazy, so I didn't care to have it in time for this video. I just decided, can I just resubmit it, get re-slabbed, and get the subgrades off, because I don't want subgrades on it. I don't need subgrades, I'm not selling some of these cards, and if I am selling the cards, I don't care about having subgrades on it. I'm not in a rush to sell any, any of these things, so it is what it is, whatever. I, I just don't like, like, the only times I like subgrades is if it was like straight across the board 10s, straight across the board 9s, or whatever. I hate seeing multiple numbers all across. That's just too much. It's 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 really clogged up. While I appreciate the, the subgrades, I appreciate them putting them on there. It's just too clogged up and too messy for me. That's that's my personal choice, my my personal um, reference, you know. So not everybody's like that, obviously. Um, but like I said, I've from what I've graded so far and watching hundreds and hundreds of hours of other people's submissions and returns, I, I just I don't need subgrades. I know what the issue is going to be with the card before I even submit it. Or at least I have a pretty good, confident idea. Alright, so let's get to the next ones. The rest of these are going to be Pokemon. Alright, so here's the back. And I, actually, they wrote the price, the value, on the back of them. I, I mean, so that probably gives it away. But either way, I'll still show the card off. So y'all can try to take a guess if you want to guess. This is actually really clean. Like, really clean. And it's Celebi, that's a 9. This one I thought for sure would be a 9.5. I didn't. Mm, I think it's the uh, edges. I think here and here is a little tiny bit of fraying, like a little bit of like a white on the edge of the card, not the surface of the card. So I think that's what that is. I've noticed a lot of Celebes are getting nines from what I've seen. All right. Here's the next one. Shining Steel looks, centering looks pretty, pretty awesome. Surface I thought was pretty awesome. 9.5. All right, here's the next one. Shining Kabutops, first edition. 9.5. Pretty 
awesome grades. I'm pretty happy with everything that I've gotten. I've come to the conclusion I just want to go ahead and just complete the set at 9.5s if possible. Here's the Shiny Mewtwo. This one was really clean as well. Really proud of this one. How well it turned out. 9.5. Gym Mint. Slime. Alright. There's another one. Shining Noctowl. And on this one, we got 9.5. Alright. So what does that tell me? I mean, these are probably all going, well, besides the Celebi, maybe not, but most of them are probably going to be tens of PSA. So these are really clean, really good cards. Really uh, proud of how well I took care of them and, you know, the condition they're in. Raichu. This is another one that was long with the Mewtwo. I didn't have duplicates of these two, but they were so clean, I was like, I know they got a good chance of being solid. 9.5. And this one, this one was absolutely insane. I, like I said before earlier in the video, the chances of you getting a 10 in any vintage Pokemon card is so high, it's insane. Like, really hard to do, as you can tell. I mean, these cards are super clean. They're getting nine fives and nines. So, this one blew my mind, blew my fucking mind when I found found it to be getting the grade it's getting. And. Um, I mean, just look at it. It looks just like the rest of them. I mean, centering is really solid. No thing on the uh, edges. Surface is great. It's a trans heart. And if you remember, last time I did a submission with the four shining cards, the trans heart actually got nicked for the surface. And I'm pretty sure it's because of that. There's like a little indention where the hollow is for the tail. Now here it's fine, there's no issue with that, but it went through the card and there's actually an indention on the back of the card, and you can see here there is no indention. I mean, maybe right there, maybe? But it's not nearly as profound as the other one, the first one I had. Well this one must have been pretty damn good because you got the pristine, baby. And 10 corners, 10 edges, 10 centering, it's that surface. It's always that surface, no matter what. And I'm th I just think any tiny little thing wrong with the surface, they knock it. Because, man, it's a solid card. Absolutely beautiful. Got the pristine 10. And the reason why it has subgrades is because with all 10s, I think CGC does subgrades no matter what. Now, the 10, absolutely, I'm fine with subgrades. I'll, I'll take subgrades on 10 all day. <laughs> I never thought I'd get a 10 in CGC. So this is absolutely insane. And a first edition shining card at that. So they put the value at four grand, but... I don't know what it is. I have to do my research. I, I, I trust them, what they th what they think it is. But that's absolutely insane. I, it, without a doubt, I'm pri if I ever sell it, I'm pricing it higher than these PSA 10 because a pristine 10. Come on now, come on now. That is fire. All right. Really excited. Really happy. Got a 10 at CGC. It blows my mind. All right. Here's some of the uh, non-shining cards. So we got a Dark Typhlosion, that's a beautiful card. Really awesome art. I love the Neo sets art in general, not just Destiny. But we got 9.5. Pretty solid. And here we got another one. Looks like some edge wear for sure. Surface maybe. That's the sleeve, the plastic sleeve around the card. Um, but centering doesn't look too bad, but it's a 9. So I got two of those, 9.5, nine, nine and here's this one, looks like the centering is pretty off a little bit there. Um, probably some, some no, the edges look decent, but Dark Vespion, another beautiful card, absolutely beautiful card, love Vespion, an Eevee fan, 9. So this one, it was pretty obvious what the issue with this one is. Y'all wanna take a guess? Yeah, it's pretty bad centering. Pretty atrocious centering. Doesn't look too bad. It looks a little top heavy on the front, but on the back, whoo, that is rough. So yeah, I got a seven. No, no argument there with that one. All right, here's this one. Centering, looks like some, possibly that's the sleeve, it's on the edge. 
Centering is decent. White Arcanine, beautiful card. Probably my favorite Arcanine art of all time. You got the roses in the background. It's a little uh, clear, see-through. Got the leaping Arcanine. The light Arcanine, I should say. 9-5, beautiful card. The light Arcanine, or yeah, light Arcanine and the light Dragonite. Both absolutely gorgeous cards from this set. So obviously in the back you can see centering is a little, maybe some edge, some edge issue. Centering on the front looks solid though. I mean, the surface maybe, nine five. Right on. I'll take nine fives all day. Nine five, to me, a nine five is a PSA 10. It's, I've seen PSA 10s that look like absolute dog shit and they're still a 10. So I'll take a CGC 9.5 all day. Centering looks rough here. A little heavy on this side. Um, other than that, surface looks fine. Edge wear, maybe a little edge wear. There is not much. And then it looks like maybe a little top heavy, maybe. Dark Gengar. This is a really awesome art, too. I, but with the big Gengar art in the front, not a lot of hollow around, so that's a little shame. I wish there was more of a, the purple hollow foil all throughout, but either way, still a beautiful card, and it gets a 9.5. Let's go. Running out of room, got so much heat on this <laughs> on this table. All right, got no dark Gengar. Same thing. Beautiful card. Centering looks pretty solid. Surface wear looks good. Maybe some edge wear. I think maybe like you can see a little nick right there on the edge of the card, right there. Um, other than that, it looks pretty solid. And got 9.5. Sweet. All right, everybody. So. This is a partial return on my submission. I think it was like, I think it was 80 cards, give or take, was what the uh, overall submission was. But these were the ones that I submitted Express, the higher value stuff, so they came back sooner. Um, so the rest of them, the rest of the hollows that are um, um, part of the set that weren't as high value, um, they, they should be back within the next few days, maybe next week. So when those get back, I'll also do a video review of those as well. And um, yeah, so my, my goal for sure was to have a, my complete set of Neo Destiny in 9.5 at the very least. And it looks like I'm gonna get that goal. I, the Tarantar is a 10, that's amazing. The only problem is the Celebi and the Charizard, but I'll, I'll just live with it if I have to. It's only two cards. Um, I did get Obviously, I did have duplicates I submitted. Um, so that was the, I think it was the Kabutops, Noctowl maybe? It was three shiny cards. I think it was Kabutops, Noctowl, and a, um, I think it was a Steelix. Either way, those all got nine fives as well, and I ended up selling them to the card shop just to recoup some money that I've been spending so much of. The submission for these 80 cards, I believe, was like almost a grand. It was like 970, 80. And then I had uh, about 200, 250 for the three cards I submitted Express. And then uh, there was a big purchase I made from them as well. So I just used the value of those cards to make that purchase. So um, yeah, there was about, there was, a there was a duplicate. I think it was of Espeon. I think Light Dragonite. Um, maybe a couple others. So I just sold all those. Those were all nines and nine fives. So even the regular hollow cards of the set, not the shinings, but the regular hollows, even they got nines and nine point fives. So pretty, pretty awesome. Really proud of my uh, childhood collection. How I've been able to keep these in such good, good condition for so many years. And uh, I'm really proud of everything because I, I believe CGCs are harder to grow than PSA, at least for the most part. And I think they're more, they're more precise. Um, I can see a card that's ungraded and I have a pretty solid idea of what it's going to get before I get it because I pre-graded all these and I actually wrote them down on paper and I think I was off only on three. So that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy that I'm I'm getting just getting into grading and that, but I have so much experience of watching them and seeing other people's reactions and then uh, the few submissions I've had so far I can tell. Pretty good idea. So. Like I said, I've seen PSA cards that look like they should be seven, not sevens, probably eights, nines, and they get tens. 
So we know we know PSA is a little off. There's something off about that. CGC is way more precise in my opinion. I think that, I'm just be honest. I think if you don't do subgrades, I think you get about 0.5 higher. If I'm being completely honest, because uh, I've seen a lot of cards that might like might get nines and they end up getting nine fives. It's like just I don't know. Maybe I'm talking up my ass and I don't really know anything like that. I'm obviously I don't. I'm just guessing. I think if you don't do subgrades, you get that 0.5. A nine will go to a 9.5. I'm not saying a 9.5 will go to a 10, but I think right in that gray area, I'm having a I'm having a feeling that maybe the subgrades they grade it a little bit harder. I don't know if, if that's ever been a thing that's been said by anybody or if that's like a running thing at CGC already. But I think when that's what I feel. I feel like when you do subgrades, they grade just a little bit harder, a little bit harsher. Just I don't know. I'm just talking my ass, like I said. I'm just guessing. But either way, really happy, really proud of all these, and I think I did a great job um, keeping them in great condition and uh, be an awesome set. You know, I can't wait to go on the uh, CGC's website and upload all these, and then uh, see where my set, uh, how my set does against everybody else's in the uh, database. I know for a fact this is a pop two, so that's pretty awesome. Really exciting. Never thought I'd ever get a CGC 10 card, because all my cards are vintage besides MetaZoo. So this is really awesome, really sick. So, all right, everybody, that'll do it for the video. Um, like I said, I got the rest of the submissions when they come in. We'll go over that. Um, I got some more MetaZoo products coming along the way if you're into MetaZoo, and then, uh, I got some board games about. Uh, Upload the videos of unboxings I did for those as well. Got everything it's Everdell, um, Oathsworn, and then I got another one that I got off of eBay. A smaller, more obscure board game. So, either way, lots of content coming. If you enjoy this kind of content and you want to, uh, you know, support me, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I notice a lot of people who watch videos aren't subscribed, and, uh, you know, help me grow the channel and get bigger and better, and I'd really appreciate that. Uh, like the video, help the algorithm so more people can see my videos, and uh, yeah, I can just get bigger and better. So I uh, really appreciate everybody who support me so far, and I appreciate all of my subscribers. And uh, hey, only up from here, right? All right, everybody, have a great day. Be safe. I'll see you in the next one.